Hey guys, me again. Uh, I wanted to show off my next Saber build. This is my Corbin and Parks Graphlex 2.0. As you can see, it's a little different than it is. Um, I've installed a one inch blade holder from Custom Saber Shop. They released it uh, not long not, not long after I got this. Um, and I have it in, I wanna say it's TFA configuration, I don't know the difference. I just, I didn't like the knob here. I feel like it got in the way when you hold it. Um, and my wife uses it kind of for her Ray cosplay. So it was easier for her to hold this, like hold it like this in this configuration. Um, man, this thing's awesome. Like uh, practicality wise, it's, it's awful. Like these grips are just bad. It's a, it's a fat hill. You just can't use it for dueling, but for as a, as a prop and for a display piece, it's it's awesome. Um, I have a Nano Biscotti three within uh, a light blue uh, Saber Forge twelve watt plus LED. Um, I got a clamp card switch from one of the guys on the I want to say it was the FX Sabers forum. Um, he three D he three D printed something and you put it that'll fit in between there and it provided two switches. Um, as it was. It was kind of a hassle to press down, so I used one of my old iPhone SIM card eject tools uh, as an in-between and used some 3M uh, double-sided adhesive, so now when you click it, it boots up. It's got Shamim's um, Graphlex HD font, and it's not super loud because I have um, a really basic 3D printed, 3D printed chassis from uh, Goth. Rio, Darth Rio, Darth Rio on, on Shapeways. Um, and I have KR Sabers uh, Blade Plug. He's awesome, guys. If you guys ever need any Graphlex parts, check him out. Um, his shipping's fast. It's like five bucks, but it, you'll have it usually within a week for little small things like this. But uh, take a look at that. It's pretty freaking bright. Um, I have an 18650. Like I said, Nano Biscotti. V3. Um, let me put a blade in here. This is this serves as blade retention. I lost this piece when I was um, putting the one inch blade holder in the little beard tab. I have more from uh, from Care Savers on order. Um, my goal with this hilt is to take it to celebration this year and get it autographed by uh, Mark Hamill himself. So when that happens, this is definitely only going to be a display piece forever. It'll probably be a family heirloom. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I don't think um at all these were designed for one inch blades. Um, even with the kit, the little bunny ears, just like look at how it's like all the way tightened. Um, so it's always a hassle to put in a blade and, and take out the blade plug. Uh, but I'll do it for you guys. And this will probably be the last time. Even when my wife uh, does the cosplay for it, she doesn't She doesn't really uh, use the blade. She just has it on her belt. But um, I was going to go with an Arctic blue, but I really like this blue. Um, on camera, it looks very different. But uh, really, it's for photos. And that's that's what we, we my wife uses it for. But, uh, yeah. Once I get this, this bad boy signed by Mark Hamill, it's, it's never going to leave the shelf. Um, I'll probably end up, you know, making a prop version of a, of a toy one for my wife to use for her cosplay or something, or buy, like, a, a Force Effects one, um, and do a conversion on it or something, because this will not be taken out at all. It'll join my recently acquired uh, Han Solo and Carbonite display and my other lightsabers, but yeah guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.